Hi, and welcome to Horn Trader on the YouTube. Today we're looking at a beautiful, brand new Shilke B flat flugelhorn in silver plate. They make them in lacquer, and if you want to spend an extra grand, they'll even make them in gold. <laughs> These are a lot different from the uh, Shilke flugelhorns you might remember in the 80s. Uh, these are more uh, designed like the Queen On with a uh, small uh, bore valve block. It's 406 and a smooth, warm, characteristic sound and controlled feel. These are really nice. Uh, the bell is a 5 and 7 eighths rose brass bell. And that just means that uh, there's more copper content uh, in, the, uh, in the brass and the bell. And uh, makes a flugelhorn sound nice and warm. Uh, some people call it rose brass, some people call it gold brass. Just means there's more copper content. Ergonomic third trigger. Quality, shilky flugelhorn valves, you know, workmanship on these valves. Gosh, I mean, they're really nice. Uh, a, a nice little protective band around the, uh, the bell crook here. Keep those little errant bumps and scratches from going on. Three uh, water keys, one on the first, third, and the bell branch. Comes with two tuning shanks, one for your conventional Morris taper and the other one for your French tapers like your Queen Arts. Um, I think what I like a, the best about this horn is the sound. The sound is to die for. And the pitch is spot on. Check out this tune from West Side Story. The tricky... You know, one, two, and three combinations uh, use hardly any trigger. And then uh, the A flats and the E flats uh, really speak well. And you, uh, you know, most manufacturers make those uh, slides a little longer to compensate for the sharpness of the low D and the low uh, D flat. But uh, Silky's figured it out. I don't know what they've done, but um, the pitch is to die for on these horns. I can't say enough about these horns. You can find them on the flugelhorn site of horntrader.com. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll see you on the next one.